सो हेलो प्रशांत वेलकम टू योर पीडिया एजुकेशन एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेनी मेनी कंग्रेचुलेशन टू यू यू रिसेंटली गॉट फुली फंडेड पी एच डी ऑफर इन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ नॉर्थ डेक ऑफ द यूएसए एंड वन थिंग वेरी गुड विद यू इज दैट लाइक यू गेट सिलेक्शन विदाउट जी आर ई एंड विदाउट टॉयफल एग्जाम एंड इट इज फुली फंडेड पी एच डी सो मेनी मेनी कंग्रेचुलेशन टू यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल प्रशांत थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर एक्चुअली I would like to thanks to all of your PDA team, sir. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you on your PDA. So I uh, will start with today's discussion with your brief introduction. I want to, I want you to introduce yourself for our viewers. Like, what is your bachelor's background and uh, what is your master's currently? What you are doing? So can you start with your brief introduction? Okay. Ah, uh, my name is Prashant, and uh, I am from New Delhi. I completed my B Tech from uh, Maharaja Agri Sen in Mechanical Engineering, which is in Ghaziabad. Actually, Maharaja Agri Sen is a four-year college, so I completed okay. my B Tech from there, and I got a seventy-eight percent overall in my B Tech. And uh, and after that, I prepared for GATE and uh, joined uh, an IT Rao Chela, where I uh, did uh, my Masters is uh, Masters in Industrial Ceramic. My B Tech is in Mechanical, but my Master is in Industrial Ceramic. and uh, okay. there uh, there i got 8.28 out of 10 cgpa out of 10 cgpa and uh, again uh, i uh, got uh, recently i got phd in mechanical engineering again transforming mechanical engineering i got phd okay. in university of north dakota so this is all about my uh, brief introduction sir okay so prashant many students have this doubt in their mind uh, they are very confused like during their masters uh, when they have to start preparing for phd abroad they are confused like when to write gre exam and whether to join job or whether to join phd so what was you thinking during your masters when did you prepare your mind like actually i have to go to phd in usa uh, okay so actually uh, first thing is that uh, Uh, when we joined the amtec so first year is about only course work and second is about second year is about that research work so at that time we can decide for go for phd in usa and that year also we can try for gre and ielts but in my case i do not have gre score and ielts score so i got admission without both, both of these and uh, i started uh, after my amtec i did not get placed and uh, after that i got a idea to pursue my phd outside of india and in august in last year august i started uh, sending mail sending mail to professor that time i started in last year august okay so it is actually motivational if i am at your place i did not get placement after masters so i will get demotivated if i am not getting placement how could i get phd in usa so that is actually very motivating thing so can you tell me like without gre without toefl without ielts so uh, what motivates you what you were thinking at that time like how you will get selection because this is mandatory exams for us uh, uh, yeah it's a mandatory exam but actually what i did i first shot lecture the professor in uh, in which my area of interest lie first i decided in which area i have to go for phd and uh, mm-hmm. according to that i sort listed the professor and i started sending them mail apart with that uh, um, uh, i was preparing for ielts so okay. uh, and uh, uh, with my interest i started to sending mail to professor and i got so many positive reply in between that uh, one of reply i got from und in november and okay. uh, that time professor was uh, interested in my profile so i asked him so i do not have gre and ielts so he said okay. one of the both thing is required but uh, i said sir actually the exams are costly in india that's uh, one of the actually small bluff i gave him so he said okay your masters and this bachelor is in uh, english language so i can waive off so you can talk in admission office and uh, he said to i am sending you a mail just forward this mail in admission office if they will allow then you can apply and i forwarded that mail in admission office and they waived off my both exam i'll send you mm-hmm. So actually, this is a message I want to give to all the students. Mostly, students think PhD admission is about GRE exam, about TOEFL exam. They are thinking like if they get very high GRE score, then only they will get PhD position. But actually, what I think it is very different. It is your 
research background which yes, matters yes, a lot right so it's a very important on the basis factor, of sir. yes on the basis of that you send emails to the professor right yes sir so what is uh, your mtech project can you briefly tell me about this and what is your phd uh, project right now uh especially uh, specifically my mtech project is related to computational fluid dynamics in which what i did i analyzed the submerged entry nozzle which is used in industrial industry for continuous casting process in which i try to find out velocities of fluid and uh, find out how to flow happens and uh, how it affect the molds so all these things i try to find out in ansys software and i got okay. phd in, uh, i got phd in mechanical engineering specifically in computational fluid dynamics which is almost same thing so uh, uh, where i have to analysis about then how laser interact with uh, any material and uh, how it will flow there so okay. i think it's a uh, background matches within my interest okay so here again i want to clarify something to all the students so it is just the tool like you know cfd in masters application was different you are working on convection and all but during phd uh, you are going to work on lasers interaction with the material so both uh, in both the projects cfd is involved but applications is different so while shortlisting the professor and the students can uh, search for this thing don't go over the application just see like if you are good in cfd then find the professor who are working on cfd and that's very important yes wow, so uh, yeah another question is how was you shortlisting the professor like there are a lot of universities uh, basically what trick you followed to shortlist the professors actually sir i sent mail 300 to 400 professor so what i did mm -hmm. i go through a yourpedia website and uh, mm -hmm. i just uh, uh, started from one university i okay. just first i opened a web actually i, I was scared about i have to go for phd in mechanical engineering just to the okay. first thing and uh, mm -hmm. what i did i just took first college and opened the mechanical just uh, mechanical page of that uh, uh, college and uh, okay. check the profile of all the professor okay. and where my interest lie i noted down all of them and sent mail mm -hmm. one by one so this okay. i did so so how hectic is this process generally students are scared from this process it is very time consuming so how hectic is this for you Uh, actually sir i started in august 22 uh, last mm -hmm. year previously and uh, i sent it till 15th feb oh uh, yeah so, so continuously yes, i is, sent it sir yeah this is the message i want to give to student this is the process where you have to spend time don't spend much time on gre toefl but uh, finding the professor and sending emails are very very crucial that's what i observe from your case okay so one another question students generally think like if you don't have this gre toefl then you will not get funding from the professor so are you getting funding for this phd or it yes, is without funding uh, yes sir actually my phd is fully funded with living expenses okay. i will got almost 2000 dollar per month okay. at my initial period Uh, and your tuition fees is way off, right? Yes, sir. Your tuition fees is way yeah. off. Uh, actually, sir, what happened uh, when we sent our uh, details uh, about? Uh, actually, when we apply for that PhD, when we sent a mail for professor. So what happened? If uh, our research interest is matches with that, that then mm -hmm. professor will definitely reply us. And yes. after that, we can start our talk. Mm -hmm. so what he will say okay. uh, he will ask for the presentation of 15 minute in okay. which the, in which we have to convince him okay so okay after that if he will convince so he will ask about other thing and we can mm -hmm. tell him that we have a uh, this problem uh, we cannot go for gre and that uh, we can give the reason of that if he will convince and uh, actually after that we can also ask a time for that gre and ielts if he, he will okay. selected us so this thing also we can do Okay, so my next question is like when you are sending email, what you are writing in that email and what documents you are attaching with that? Uh, yes, actually, sir, uh, I was writing one cover letter about that, about my brief detail, and uh, about mm -hmm. my area of research interest and uh, where I want to do work. All three things okay. I uh, I write in uh, I wrote in cover letter, and I, I attach with uh, my CV with that. So both just CV, no SOP, no transcript, just oh, no. CV, right? 
no okay. it's actually it's a very simple it's a short thing it's a very short okay. if yes. professor want to see it he can he can see it within a 2 3 minutes yes. and uh, on the basis of that he will definitely reply if it matches and actually i got so many reply uh, okay. i am saying that that i sent 300 to 400 mail so i got more than 250 reply that's really nice yeah yes yeah, so actually all was not positive but professor was replying because my mail was cover letter was very short and simple and very straight forward and i attached with that cd so that is very simple thing and uh, when professor will reply so we can go for sop and other thing we can go for that if you will so ask. take away take away is like you have to write a professional email just attach your cd without sop without transcript without gre score i mean i think that is my belief also they are not interested in your transfer gre score that is university's criteria professor is only interested about your research background yes, that's sir, research uh, experience right. sir yes sir research yes. experience he is highly highly interested in research experience if it will match he will definitely respond so uh, next question is like how many interviews you gave how many replies you get and what generally professor replied you then how many interviews you gave and what they ask you in interview this is my next question uh, okay sir uh, i got so many reply but uh, that wasn't positive professor sometimes say he do not have funding so i have to arrange mm-hmm. the funding this i got okay. gen- this uh, replied i got generally and uh, i got two interview uh, one is from mr suri and another okay. is from that uh, university of north dakota so uh, okay. i gave interview in mr suri there i wasn't selected i didn't selected okay. there and but in und uh, when i talked the professor uh, he asked me to give me a 15 minute presentation about your previous research experience i gave him and uh, he asked me some question about my weakness strength and all these extra questions why do you want to go for phd and what you will do after phd and uh, he asked me one tricky question if i will give you one another task then how will you complete so he asked me so i replied all this question and uh, he said i will take one week and after that i will reply you and uh, finally he gave me opportunity if i have question to ask me so what i did in this case i asked so many question for me about my phd about my funding about uh, any senior student is doing what he is doing so i showed their interest i am interested in his research work so that is okay. also a effective part sir so and after that uh, after one week i asked to professor and he said we will give you admission so this okay. is a simple thing so this is the thing this is actually different in us i also experienced this thing in europe they are asked they will ask you many technical questions from mechanical engineering but in us what i observe basically they will ask you question only through your research background what project you did in masters they will ask you some question and most of the question are hr type question why phd why yes, this university on i also faced it and this is basically very good thing in us i mean getting phd position in us is very easy than iits i would say in iits you have to crack written exam then this thing uh, so that's really actually nice sir uh, one important thing is that i also gave all top iits interview iit bangalore iit mumbai i cleared written exam iit kanpur iit kharagpur iit delhi okay. but uh, <laughs> i didn't select it yes, yes sir so that is again very motivational students are not getting selected in iits and we are getting fully funded phd position without Yeah, even without us. Yes. Yeah, that's very motivating. So, and the last, if you want to give message to the students who are trying for US, what do you want to say? Ah, uh, actually, just a simple thing. First, decide your research area according to that shortlist professor, and try as much as professor you can send. Try. I th- actually, I would say send all the professor whatever listed. Ah, uh, send or uh, send all the university whatever listed in that your Peter website. actually there yes. is i think 180 university in only us and uh, i think uh, canada also 25 australia also 25 germany of 40 sent everywhere and definitely yeah. you will get actually in europe sir what happen there is a position you cannot directly ask for the professor if you we will ask from the professor so he will give us link and uh, he will say just go there and search there if there is position then you can apply So for that, I will also suggest that there is a five uh, website in your Wikipedia portal. You can search there about Europe PhD position. So mm-hmm. I will suggest them try on the basis of your research area. Do not worry about GRE and IELTS. 
a professor will select and so he can waive off and you can ask him for time for gre allowance after that you can also give that this thing sir mm -hmm. so yeah this is my suggestion also most of the student every year they came to me and they want phds in usa when i tell them like you have to send lot of emails at that step they stop they are not finding professor but uh, this is a very important thing for phd if for ms gre is very important but for phd shortlisting professor in different universities are very very important and i think you did that and you get without gre without ias because professor can waive off that exam for you but the finding professor is very crucial thing so thank you prashant for connecting with us and all the very best uh, i think you have visa interview on 12th july right yes sir yes, yes. so all the very best for that and i will see you soon in usa thank you for interacting with us thank you sir thank you very much sir you're a great teacher